you guys welcome to tomorrow again i'm uh sitting here in the parking lot i'm waiting on my daughter to come out of walmart so i decided that i need to make a video it has been a long time i think it's been a couple weeks or more since i've made a video but i just want to take uh this time right now to ask you guys uh, at the end of this video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today uh, about a little bit of, um, I guess it could be called synchronicity. You know what synchronicity is. It's when you start to see a series of supposed unrelated events that end up if you string the events together or the objects together you will get some sort of message usually people consider the message uh, one from the universe um, and that is a hobby of mine even though you're not supposed to look for the message you're really supposed to let the message find you you could be at a point in your life where you are trying to figure something out you're trying to figure out a situation and then life will show you a series of events usually within a couple of days uh, no more than a week usually it'll show you a couple events that will if you string them together and they're not coincidences um, you can usually get some sort of guidance or some sort of indication that whatever you've put out in the universe is on its way to you. Uh, and it kind of works like this, at least for me, this is how it has worked. Uh, you'll come up with a concept or a question, or you'll be in a situation or you'll be debating a situation um, or a scenario and then all of a sudden you'll start seeing patterns you start seeing things that have to do with what you were debating or with what you were thinking about um, so what you do is you assign a color to the universe uh, I won't give an example you pick your own color assign a color assign numbers and keep it as simple as possible and then sometimes you will get your answers um, in that sort of fashion. So give it a try and see if you can um, get yourself in sync with the universe and getting uh, the answers to your questions. It's really simple. Don't look for it. Let it find you and the answers will be there. Look, this will be a short video, you guys. I know it's been a long time, uh, but I just wanted to touch bases with you. I have been working full time uh, outside of giving readings. So I've been really busy, um, but not too busy to make a video, not too busy to stay in touch with you guys. Ooh, I've got this thing in there. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully that didn't stop you from being able to hear this video. Um, but I wanted to also talk to you guys today about, um, you know, you could be at a point in your life where you're feeling overwhelmed by circumstances. Uh, you may feel, uh, watching people drive by, <laughs> they're probably wondering why I'm sitting in this car talking to my phone. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, you know, there may, may be someone who's watching this video who is just overwhelmed with, um, just overwhelmed with a uh, situation that they're in. And, you know, 90% or higher situations that we find ourselves in, it, it's temporary. Uh, so make sure not to pick a strong arm solution for a temporary uh, situation, a temporary fix. Um, and it usually starts with believing in yourself, having confidence that you can get through whatever situation that you're faced with. And you know what? We all have problems. Everybody on the face of the earth, I don't care how old you are, I don't care what your racial, so-called racial makeup is, uh, your sexual orientation, your financial status, I don't care what anything, uh, any situation you're going to be faced with uh, challenges in life. It's really how you react to the situation. Um, if you get a health 
diagnosis that feels overwhelming, and there are numerous ones out there, uh, depending on how you react to it, uh, really dictates how, how well you're able to cope with it. Always, no matter what situation you're faced with in life, always rise above it uh, in the way that you think. Always face it as head on as possible and believing that the best outcome will be the outcome. And you can affect change in your life that way. Uh, I'm here to prove it. Um, I faced so many things in my life um, and um, haven't been able to overcome everything easily. Uh, but I believe and I know that if you face something head on, if you face it uh, in your truth and in your own way and don't allow yourself to be overcome. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted because people are walking past the car. I'm in the Walmart parking lot, so um, yeah. Uh, so uh, that that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. It, it's easy to become, you know, just downtrodden and overcome with um, worry. And that's another thing. If you allow yourself to succumb to worry, the problem just gets more exacerbated. The problem just gets more and more uh, bigger and it grows and grows and it becomes overwhelming until it starts to affect your physical health. Uh, worry never changes anything except if you overly worry, it will change things for the worse. It never makes things better. Uh, as I had mentioned before, you're confronted with a situation. If you face it head on and you react to it in a positive way, it changes things. It changes the dynamics of the situation. Even in death, even the worst news possible, the way you react to it, the way you allow it to, I want to say fester, the way you allow it to grow dictates coping with it. And if you think of the worst case scenario and you picture yourself coping with that and turning it into a positive, that's probably 90% of the battle. So if there's anyone out there who's dealing with so much stress and so much trauma and dilemmas, just remember this video. Try to turn things into a proactive uh, type of attitude. Turn it into something that's easier to deal with. Don't succumb to grief. Don't succumb to stress because it doesn't help at all. You know, you guys, I'm long-winded. I could go on and on and on, uh, especially since I haven't, <laughs> I haven't made a video in a while. And I just, you know, I miss talking to you guys. I miss that connection. I miss that energy. Um, but I'll try to be more consistent. But I'm telling you guys, I have been busy. I have been working full-time, night shift, um, in a healthcare setting. And it's given me more purpose in my life, not just for money or for benefits. It literally gives my life even more purpose, helping someone else. Um, and it kind of gets my mind off of me and my problems and my situations. Uh, so I recommend that even if you do volunteer work, even if you take a second job where you're helping someone, um, you know, and people, people can be very stressful, you know, working with people can, can have its own, uh, series of stressors and, and things. But once again, if you, if you allow yourself the power of positive thinking, if you allow that in your life, you'll see a different feeling from the challenges that life brings you. So, yeah. Oh, I know I want to talk to you guys about something else. What what how do you cope with change? And not the kind of change where 
you've decided to move or you've decided to get another job or you've decided, but when change is, is sort of forced on you and you feel like you can't really get away, you, you know, you feel kind of stuck. How do you guys deal with, with that type of stress? Um, do you, do you convince yourself, well, this is temporary and then I'm going to walk away from it whenever I can. How do you deal with that? Personally, when change comes my way, I think of it as a learning experience. I don't run from it because I feel like when we run from certain problems, they're only going to come right back tenfold. Uh, like you may have a coworker or someone that goes to your church or someone that, you know, that's in your life that you can't get away from. Uh, you may have someone like that and you say, oh, I'm quitting this job. Oh, I'm quitting. I'm moving. I can't stand my neighbor. But what's going to happen when you do that? You're going to run into someone just like the one that you're running away from, except it'll be even more difficult. So it's best to just kind of uh, tackle things as they come into your life and find the most uh, positive way to tackle it. Enough of me rambling, you guys. And I hope you can really see because there's not a lot of light and I'm using my uh, the video camera for my cell phone to make this video because I wanted to touch bases with you guys. Um, and then I'm going to make some videos on some missing persons. That might be my next video. I've been doing a little bit of research, a little bit of automatic writing um, and things of that nature, uh, seeing if I can... Um, have some kind of contribution to uh, finding uh, missing people, especially missing children. Okay, you guys, until my next video, uh, make sure you thumbs up this video and share it with whoever you think might benefit from it uh, and subscribe to this channel uh, if you'd like to. I'd appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who are already subscribed and stick with me, no matter how lackadaisical I can be <laughs> making videos, I really appreciate you guys. And I really apologize for dragging and dragging. You could probably see it in my <laughs> in my eyes because I worked uh, last night. I just got off work not too long ago. And there's these ladies in a car over here that are just sitting over there kind of checking me out, wondering what the heck I'm talking about. Hi! Anyway, <laughs> all right, you guys, uh, this is tomorrow again. I'm wishing you the best of the best. Uh, I'm sending love and light to you guys. Please accept it and send it back to me. There's a lot of power in that. Um, I'm wishing you guys the best of the best. Thanks.